Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is Central Teacher Eligibility Test, Paper 2, Social Science, Social and Political Life, Class 6, NCRT, Unit 3, Local Government and Administration. Already we have done two chapters and the third chapter of this unit that is 7th Urban Administration. Question number 1, practice questions. When the problems are within a ward, then the people who live in the ward can contact their option A, councillors, B, commissioner, C, administrative staff, D, none of the above. Answer to the question, that is option A, councillors. When, when the problems are within a ward, then the people who live in the ward can contact their councillors. Next question, state the true statement or statements first. The city is divided into different wards and ward councillors get elected. Second, the complicated decisions that affect the entire city are taken by groups of councillors who form committees to decide and debate issues. Option A, one only. Option B, two only. Option C, none of the above. D, all of the above. So, we have to find out the true statements out of these two. The answer is all of the above. Both the statements are true. Third question, find the incorrect statement. A, the councillors, committees and the councillors decide on issues. The commissioner and the administrative staff implement these. B, the commissioner and the administrative staff are appointed. C, councillors are elected. D, the complicated decisions that affect the entire city are taken by groups of people. Answer to the question, Option D is the wrong answer. The complicated decisions that affect the entire city are taken by groups of people. That's the wrong, incorrect statement. Other the three are correct statements. The fourth one, what is the sum of money that people pay to the government for the services the government provides? Simply, simple question this is. Option A, a tax. B, ex, uh, exonerate. C, facile. D, non-regression. Answer to the question, a tax. A tax is a sum of money that people pay to the government for the services the government provides. Question number five, find the incorrect statement. A, municipal corporation collects tax in different ways. People B, people who own homes have to pay a property tax as well as taxes for water and other services. C, no difference in taxes between larger and smaller the houses are. D, Property taxes, however, form only 20 to 30 percent of the money that a municipal corporation earns. We have to find out the incorrect statement that is C, no difference in taxes between larger and smaller the houses because there is a difference in the taxes between larger and smaller houses. Six, state whether true or false. First, rich people account for property taxes. Second, a much wider population pays more general taxes. Option A, one is true and two is false. B, two is true, true and one is false. C, both are true. D, both are false. Answer, C, both are true. Seventh question, find the Correct statement. In order to save money, the commissioners of several municipalities across the country had hired private contractors to collect and process garbage. This is called subcontracting. Second, this means that the work that was earlier being done by government workers is now being done by a private company. So, option A, one only correct. Option B, two only Option C, both are correct. Option D, none of the above. So, both the statements are correct statements. Option A, uh, question number 8, find the incorrect statement. Number 1, commissioners of several municipalities across the country hire private contractors to collect and process garbage. Second, contract workers get paid less and their jobs are temporary. So, we have to find the incorrect statement. Option A, one only. B, two only. C, both are incorrect. D, none of the above. 
answer none of the above because both the statements are correct statements commissioners of several municipalities across the country hire private contractors to collect and process garbage now these contract workers get paid less and their jobs are temporary question number 9 the city of surat had a plague scare in option a 1990 b 1994 c 1998 d 2000 Answer nineteen option B nineteen ninety four. Now tenth question. When did the government of India launch the Swachh Bharat Mission to promote cleanliness in both rural and urban areas all over the nation? Option A on second October two thousand thirteen. B on second October two thousand fourteen. C on second October two thousand fifteen. D on twelfth October two thousand fourteen. Correct answer. That is option B on second October. 2014 so we come uh, sorry uh, one more question 11th question under which campaign are many activities are also being carried out in schools to generate awareness on sanitation and hygiene among students option a swachh desh swachh vidyalaya option b swachh desh swachh patshala option c swachh bharat swachh patshala option d swachh bharat swachh vidyalaya correct answer swachh bharat swachh vidyala option d is the correct answer so we come to the end of this class if you like the video on questions please do like share subscribe and comment below thanks for your attention and time happy learning